Delta, climb now, flight level 80. Okay, so I'm flying in um, VR in Microsoft Flight Simulator later 2020. I uh, just want to show you how smooth I've got this, and um, I'm currently flying around sort of big in the hill area. Germany, uh, in the UK. It's a pre recorded um, ATC, um, that's what you can hear. Um, yeah, I just want to show you how smooth I've got it really. Um, I'm using the Rift S. Everything seems absolutely fine. Everything's looking nice. So it's all looking pretty, uh, pretty nice to be honest. And this VR. This is definitely the way to fly. It, you, you're just so immersed in it. It's absolutely brilliant. In a moment, I'm going to show you my settings. I'm just going to slow it down a little bit. I'll just put my flaps back up. But it's just, you're so immersed. It's like you're actually in the aircraft where you are, really, in the simulator. It's absolutely fantastic. It's just the way to fly in VR now, I think. Absolutely lovely. I can't see me going um, back. To be honest, this is, this is just far better than anything I could have imagined. I could have imagined, to be honest. Just flying in VR is it's just so different from just having the normal screens in front of me. This is definitely the way to go. Um, but I'm, I'm going to talk about my settings in this. Um, I mean, everything's readable in front of me. Um, it's very smooth. Um, it took a little while to get it like that. Um, that's because I've been on the internet searching for things to make it more smoother. But I found out a lot of my problem was um, I was using the uh, Oculus Tray tool and people were saying do this setting, do that setting. So I've done away with that. I haven't even used the debug tool, so super sampling. I've, I've not adjusted any of that. I've not adjusted my frame rates or, or anything. I've literally just got the settings I've got on the simulator. Um, maybe that'll work for you, who knows, but I will show you them. What I've got it set to. It absolutely looks fantastic. It feels great. It feels smooth. Obviously, you're not going to be able to see what I'm seeing, or you're not. You can. You're not going to have the immersion. But um, anyway, if I just press, um, if I just press my um, pause button for a moment, and uh, I will show you my VR settings. So I've got render scaling resolution 1648-1776. That's that's on a hundred. Anti-aliasing uh, set to TAA. Terrain level of detail is at hundred. I've got terrain vector data on ultra. Buildings, ultra trees, ultra grass and bushes on ultra. Object level of detail is on hundred. Um, volumetric clouds on ultra. Texture resolution on ultra. Anisotropic filtering four times, texture super sampling I've left um, uh, two times, texture synthesis is on ultra, water waves I've put on low, although I could have them on medium. Uh, shadow maps, I've got that high, terrain shadows uh, 1024, compact shadows off, windshield effects low, ambient occlusion is off, reflections off, light shafts are off and is off, glass cockpit refresh rate is set to medium, and that is pretty much, pretty much it to be honest, um, I've got live weather on, um, I have got live traffic on, um, so um, yeah that's basically all the settings I've got really, so none of that Oculus trades or anything, it just was making everything really stuttery. It just wasn't working right to be honest, but how I've got it now is 
Absolutely perfect for me. And it runs really smooth on the uh, Oculus Rift S. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to change it now, to be honest. Um, just generally, a, a really nice, smooth experience. Um, and I can't help sort of airport hopping, to be honest. That's fantastic. But the live ATC, um, I like to have on if I'm uh, flying in um, the United States, like um, K, uh, KJ, K, um, New York. Then I'll go ahead and go on um, Google Chrome and I'll put live ATC on as well and have live traffic on. That's quite good. It gives it that added realism. Um, and also, um, if I'm flying around um, in the UK, there's a lot of money um, for live ATC. So I get some pre-recorded ones and I just convert the uh, video files and um, then I play them in the background. But for me, it just gives it that extra, extra bit of realism because the immersion itself in VR is absolutely fantastic. And then to hear the radio chatter as well is, is, is even better. I mean, obviously, if you're doing normal flights, um, you're going to be on bats and stuff. But if you just want to chill out, you know, you just want to chill out and fly, get some, get some ATC going in the background. It's absolutely fantastic. Anyway, um, with the settings I've shown you, if you're having any problems, um, just, just comment below. I'll, I'll see if I can help you. So, um... I'd, I'd like to just give people a hand, just, I know how frustrating it can be not to have, not to have the settings set up how you want them, not to have um, a smooth experience, it's really um, frustrating, um, but I'm not going to say it's going to work for everybody, but, you know, it should work for most people. Um, it's just trial and error. I mean, we've all got different PCs. They all run different. We've got different specs. So not everybody is going to have the exact same experience. I will probably um, I will list my specs for my PC down below anyway. Um, in the description. Um, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This is Captain Turner. Um, as um, usual, subscribe if you like. I mean, um, I do make videos on an odd occasion. Um, but, um, yeah, just, just chill out and fly in VR. It's fantastic. Thank you.